There's so many ways that I've developed professionally here that honestly I really did not expect. Our primary role is to support our production facilities, our plants, throughout North America. Well, I can assure you that pet food is not boring. There is a lot of technology here that, uh, from the outside observer, you wouldn't, you wouldn't ever guess goes behind the scenes. We're able to spend a lot of time working on renovating and innovating each of these different ideas. Uh, we can take processes that already exist, and we can spend a lot of time trying to come up with different ways to make that process more efficient, make it you know, produce more tons, make it, you know, have more uptime. But at the same time, we work with new equipment and new suppliers on developing new technologies to work with um, our individual needs. So a lot of times we work with manufacturers to implement and create uh, processes for us uniquely. And in initially working in the automotive industry, you didn't see screw conveyors. You made steel, you made steel into different things. Where in the pet food industry, it's more so you're using all different types of equipment that I would never have really known about. So getting into the process of training, it was fantastic because you learned so many different things and all the components. My role specifically as an environmental engineer is as production facilities, they all have some impact on the environment. Our group helps the plants uh, stay in compliance with environmental regulations. Environmental compliance is a huge, huge priority for Nestle Purina. And the trends are absolutely fascinating to look at and how we've been able to reduce our, our dependency on energy and water over the course of, uh, of time and in, improve our, our throughput at the same time. It's been really a win-win situation. The cool thing about Nestle Purina, I think, is that uh, the machines that I do design will actually be used and uh, kept proprietary. It's kind of you know interesting because I work with a lot of talented people. There's like environmental engineers, process engineers, MES, which is like production automation. There's a lot of developers that develop software and the software is what runs in the plants. Engineering within Purina, it, it really provides the, the service to the business uh, to be able to manufacture. So, and they do it on all uh, a variety of levels. Uh, here in the factory, for example, we have typically teams of, of five or six um, staff engineers, so all different disciplines. So we'll have typically mechanical and electrical discipline, and, and potentially even a facility the size of Davenport, we'd have like a civil engineer um, just for the sheer volume, number of buildings we have. Most engineering trainees move towards a staff engineer position at a different manufacturing facility. But since my background was more in research and development and my interests were in research and development, that's the direction my managers and myself um, see myself going in the future. Although when I first went to school I wanted to become an auto engineer, as I learned more about it, I learned that you really don't have as much control over each of these projects as you wanted. When I came and worked with Nestle Purina as an intern, I was able to see an industry that allowed advancement, allowed you to take on projects, to work on those projects individually and as a team, and really showcase your abilities and your knowledge of each of these processes. The pilot plant we have here, it's one of my favorite things about the job. I get to uh, get to work with the machines, uh, get, get to make the modifications I need to do. It's there to be used to experiment and to try new things. Proprietary equipment gets made every day here. And just because you start out as an engineering trainee does not mean that you have to be an engineer for life. You have cross-functional opportunities. You could move towards quality assurance. You could move towards production management. It's really up to you to shape your career path. When I was in consulting, I knew that there'd be a wide variety of things. You're working on one thing one day, another thing another day. Coming here, I wasn't really expecting that level of variety, and I've been really surprised at the level of variety and in, in the technical challenges that I've had to face. When you look at how much money people are spending on pets, it, it's incredible. I mean, the growth year on year is, is incredible when you compare that versus uh, similar competition. 
And what that means from an engineering perspective is that we're constantly on the cutting edge of innovation renovation. How do we optimize our processes to improve our product performance? How do we optimize our packaging to, to better suit the consumer's needs? From an engineering perspective, you can do anything you want in this company.